What's up, everybody? So if you didn't check it out already, we posted a video of the Fuji X-T4, maybe last week, by the time you're seeing this, maybe, anyways. But we have another Fuji camera to check out. This time, we have the X100V, which is sick. We got this in hand, and super nice out today. And guess who's in town? She's got her headphones on editing right now, but we are gonna hand this off to Taylor. Earth. You want to go shoot with it? <laughs> Let's go do it. And it's sunny. I know. Taylor actually Ooh. has the X100F, the previous model to the X100V. <laughs> so that's why I was kind of just like going to surprise, put it in her hand. And yeah. Oh, I'm so stoked. So yeah, let's just go shoot some street photography with this because that's kind of that's what I it's for. I feel like what this camera is really for. Yeah, it's got a 23 millimeter lens on it. Like, it needs to be on the streets. Let's get on the streets. So, we're gonna go shoot some example photos. But yeah, this video is not like a traditional review. It's gonna be like Taylor shooting street photos. I'm gonna get behind the camera and we're gonna go get some juicy images with this X100V. Mm. I know you can get some juicy. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I got the juice. <laughs> guys we are um, about to walk around the city and shoot with this puppy we are so excited um, we're gonna go over some specs but for the most part we really just kind of want to see what photos we can get with this guy as Caleb said I have the X100F I've been shooting with this for a little over a year now um, but out with the old and uh, in with the new so uh, let's go shoot some photos I wanted to get that his the fruit dangling. That was so good. So if you aren't familiar with the Fuji X100 series, this is the fifth iteration, um, and it is loved by street photographers worldwide. I mean, look at it. It's teeny tiny. Um, it's very lightweight, very compact. You can throw it in your pocket. Um, the lens is fixed. Uh, this is a 23 um, f2, but with the crop sensor, that is equivalent to a full frame 35 millimeter. Because the lens is fixed, um, it really is up to you to move around and it's very important that your composition is good with these cameras just because you can't rely on zooming in or doing something with your lens. Um, you have to get the shot and move for it. Oof, the sound of the shutter is so great. Yeah, that's pretty, pretty sick. I kind of want to wait, if you don't mind, to be patient. I want to wait for somebody to walk through this frame. These people might be coming. Yeah, we have a guy walking, so I'm going to... One of the biggest secrets about street photography is when you see a frame you like, wait until something enters it. So one of the biggest changes from the last model to this model is the screen actually flips out. Um, so you can put it at a 90 degree angle so you can shoot at the hip, um, which is very helpful when you're shooting the street. Um, it can be a little weird sometimes if you're shooting people on the street, just strangers, and you have the viewfinder up to your eye. People feel like, oh no, and they'll like stop or feel weird or whatever. So having this flip out screen is very convenient for that. Shoot from the hip, baby. Gotta be fast, swift. Oh. Had to run away from you. <laughs> yeah, I love that. So one of the coolest things about Fujifilm is the way that their JPEGs work because of the film emulation options that you have. Um, so you can basically overlay a number of film emulations on top of your JPEGs that actually won't go on top of RAWs. So the JPEGs are awesome and you can obviously still shoot JPEG and RAW to have both options. I typically always shoot in JPEG and RAW so I have both options 
Those JPEGs are really nice if you want to just quickly transfer it to your phone and throw it up on Instagram or something. And then you have the option of the RAW if you'd like to go in and have more control over the edit and play with it a little bit with more data. I love this guy on his smoking break. We might need to cross the street. That's the classic shadow selfie I always take. <laughs> uh, we're just getting a shot because that background's too cool. I should have a two. Testing out bokeh here. Um, these are just kind of some like nasty dead branches and leaves. So it really, I was just wanting to test out how sharp going down to F2 is. Um, and I am pleasantly surprised with what I see. <laughs> yeah, the previous model, the X100F, um, when you go down to a two, it sometimes would struggle with sharpness. Um, I'm not seeing that so far on this camera, so I'd like to keep testing that out. It looks really sharp so far. Fujifilm actually did kind of redesign the lens on the inside, um, and it's definitely showing. I couldn't tell you exactly what they did and how they did it, but uh, I can tell. <laughs> it's definitely better. Kind of a fun little silhouette. I love this sign right here. Let's get that. One of the coolest things that they added to this model is you can touch the screen to focus now, which is big time. Ooh, there is some light to test out. All right, so just like any new camera comes with a lot of reviews from a lot of people. So you can find the specs on this camera in a lot of places on the internet. Um, so I kind of want to go over the new things about this model that I'm particularly interested in. Um, the first is obviously the flip up screen that just makes shooting at the hip a lot easier. And uh, I was never able to do that with my X100F. Um, so that's huge. The touch screen focus is amazing. Oh, uh, another thing, you can actually shoot 4K video on this, so they upped the video capabilities with this model. Most people are not gonna buy this camera to shoot video, but if you're a street photographer and you wanna get a clip here and there, you're gonna be very happy with the 4K that it can shoot. And it also shoots in F-Log, which is awesome. Last but certainly not least, this camera has a brand new sensor, which goes a long way. They took the same sensor from the X-T3 and basically put it in this little guy. The new sensor is big time. It's gonna make a huge difference in sharpness and just overall quality. And look at this. Ooh, those big walls and the small people. Oof, I love it. It's kind of a weird like double wall window, so it's like, Glitchy. Does it feel no. <laughs> you want it to actually be like sick? Got it. Let's go to this corner. There's a lot happening on this corner. Damn, that was actually such a sick shot. Really? Just now? Yeah. <laughs> I'm way pumped on that. What the hell? Ready? Okay, so we just entered the train station and it's a bit quiet, so we're gonna calm it down. <laughs> Well, I just saw this frame where you were like starting to enter it right here. It would actually be sick if you walked by and got your silhouette or something. Okay, will you just walk right in front, right here so I can get your silhouette? No. Caleb. No way to go 
one this way. Because I want the bill of your hat, basically. Like that. In front of me. Sick. Thank you. One of us right here, Caleb. This flip up screen is an absolute game changer. Really? Yeah, like it would it would make me upgrade for sure. Cause the thing I You're not just saying that? No. <laughs> the thing that I really can't stand about when I shoot the street is people just get so freaked out when I have the viewfinder up to my eye. And this just nobody even notices me. Can't get him. There's like zero context. It's just hair. <laughs> so you may be wondering if this is worth the upgrade and it really just depends on what your main camera is and what you're shooting with every day. If you are a diehard street photographer, this is probably going to be worth the $1,400. You get everything obviously that includes the lens um, but the flip up screen is really what's getting me and we haven't even gone back i haven't even been able to look at the photos on a computer and like zoom in or anything but i can already tell that it's way sharper than my f um, especially shooting at like f2 um, which is big for me we're so stoked that we're actually selling these in our shop so if you're interested please go check them out so the sun is dipping so we're going to shoot just a little bit more uh, make our way back to the car, shoot along the way, and then uh, we'll do another outro, because that one sucked. <laughs> Big fan. These people just waved at me. <laughs> Gorgeous. I love this little thing. All right, you guys, this actually wraps it up for real this time. If you are new around here, hello. We're happy you're here. Please subscribe and stick around. We have a lot more coming. Um, we love to shoot on mobile, but we are starting to sell big cameras and big camera accessories. So like I said, you'll be seeing a lot more like this in the future. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you saw some photos that you enjoyed. Um, and you know, I hope this got you acquainted with this little guy. The X100V is an awesome camera so far. I can't wait to go check out the photos. Um, yeah, see you guys in the next one.